this one hits me hard because I've had conversations through my channel with Mohammed Anwar and he has always been the sweetest and kindest person. So I'm pretty devastated to hear this news. He's on my live feeds. I've texted back and forth with him. And today I find out he's no longer with us. Mohammed Anwar's family said the 66-year-old Springfield resident was a hardworking Pakistani immigrant who chose happiness every day while working to build a better life for his family. They say the loss felt by his death is immeasurable. Our GoFundMe page has already raised more than $50,000 in support of his family and funeral. The 13 year old girl charged with his murder appeared in court. 13 the and 15 years. Prosecutors say Anwar encountered the girls as he was making deliveries for Uber Eats. They say he was outside his Honda Accord when the girls tried to steal it. A detective said Anwar became wedged between the driver's seat and a car door as the teens, who were inside the Honda, sped off. The court said a video showed Anwar was hanging from a car as it sped down Van Street Southeast. The car hit something along the way, causing the door to swing back and hit Anwar. Prosecutors say Anwar was then thrown into the air as the car turned right onto In Street Southeast. Moments later, the car crashed. Anwar would later succumb to his injuries. Just last month, NPD Chief Robert Conti said delivery drivers for companies like Uber Eats had increasingly become targets for carjackers, and that Navy Yard was a hot spot for such crime. NPD says carjackings have actually tripled in amount compared to this time last year, and that 23 juveniles have been arrested in those crimes. Now those girls will remain detained until their next hearing on the 31st. The judge said said they were a potential threat to others. MPD even claimed they used a taser on Anwar during the incident. John Henry Devian. Uh, I, I can't believe it. Every single day we're dealing now with robberies, assaults, rapes, murders, and um, they still can't figure out. They make all the money in the world from us these gig companies, and they still cannot figure out a way to keep us safe. My heart goes out to you, Mohammed Anwar, to your family. I'm going to leave the link to your GoFundMe page. I'm going to contribute myself. This news tonight hits me hard. I know how sweet this guy is because I've gone back and, with, back and forth with him over the years many, many times. Love you, brother. Rest in peace, my friend.